Hey, Brooke family, we are so proud of you in the ways that we have come alongside together to journey together in this next 21 days of fasting. We are eager to see what God is going to do. We have already received just various texts and messages of the ways that God has already been speaking so clearly. Um, and it's just so beautiful what he does when we set aside undistracted time. And so that is our prayer, that this would continue to be undistracted time where we can truly hear more clarity um, from his voice, truly experience more of his uh, just nearness to us and a clinging to him and truly aligning our lives, believing what he wants us to believe. And so that is that is our hope, that is our desire, that we would continue to in in not just endure this time, but enjoy this season. Yeah. Enjoy what God is doing and how he's at work amongst us with great belief that he is at work. Yeah, we've heard testimonies of people saying, man, I didn't realize how much I depend on media, television, Netflix, social media, news, sports, um, just yeah. however people are seeing this, this media fast. Many are realizing, man, I, I go to this a lot. I, I know I've been checked in my own heart, my just impulse to pick up my phone and Absolutely. open a app or open a web page and so man it's, it's good to kind of just re recenter ourselves upon god upon his goodness i've uh, been real challenged by this yeah and, it's yeah. it's it's just so interesting because the things that we're not generally i know even for me that i'm drawn to i don't realize how draining yeah. it actually is and yet how life-giving and how truly soul nourishing it is to set that aside and instead of um just to then replace it with time with the lord and so it has been good for my own soul, and I pray we pray it's been good for you. And we're just starting the journey. Yeah. So, so the last day of our media portion of our 21-day fast is the first seven days is, is Saturday. And on Sunday, we start a liquid-only fast. And um, as, as we get ready to prepare for that, we want to encourage you guys to, again, pick up the fasting guide with uh, scripture reading from Psalm 119, some different ways to pray, just to kind of refocus throughout the day. So this is on our website. It was emailed to you guys last week. Um, these are printed copies at the Brook. You can pick up on Sunday. But uh, with the Liquid Only Fast starting this Sunday, again, let's not, let's not lose the sight of the main goal. The main goal is to really focus on the Lord and set aside distractions. And food is a, a major delight that we enjoy eating. We love to eat, and that's not bad. God has given us food. But it's important to say, I love food, mm -hmm. but God, I love you more. Uh, I, I want that burger, but God, I want more of you. And so this, this liquid only fast is basically saying we're going to take away solid foods and we are going to stick to liquids. And liquids can look a variety of ways. Um, it could be, it could be a, a broth soup. It could be a, a smoothie or juicing. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't try putting your burger in the blender <laughs> and calling that part of the fast. But, um, but definitely like liquids um, are the, the kind of things we're aiming for to, again, uh, express our hunger for God, even as we, our bodies are hungering for food. Mm -hmm. And if you're nervous about it, you're not alone. Yeah. As I look to next week, I'm like, Lord. Yeah. And so find a few people that you can text and say, hey, I'm having a hard day. Or can you pray for me? Because I, I can already sense this evening's going to be difficult. Yeah. Um, so that you're not alone because you're literally, you're not alone. Uh, we're in it together. And uh, we're, we want to do this together and experience some some joys of the ways that we see God at work together. So Yeah. And don't think of it so much as failures and successes in the sense of like, you have a weekday, you failed, or let's say you, you know, somehow gave in to something like, like think of it as God, I'm keep growing. I'm going to keep growing. Yeah, I'm going to trip up, but God, I'm going to keep pursuing you. Um, and also when it comes to the liquid only fast, uh, we do recognize many of you have health uh, matters that prevent that kind of fasting, mm -hmm. but, um, but there are things that you can remove maybe uh, from your life or even from your diet that remains uh, safe for you with your health health needs, but are still good uh, to, to pull away from. And you may need some counsel, so grab a, a sister or a brother who you, maybe is mentoring you that you can process with. Um, talk to one of us leaders, any of our leaders at the Brook. We'd love to help process that with you, but we just want to grow closer to God. And so the fruit we've seen this, these first almost seven days now, we're going to see continue to develop over the next seven days. And then when we conclude our 21-day uh, fast, January 24th. Um, Absolutely. So we're just so excited about this church. We're, like Erica said, we're proud of you. Um, pray for us. We're praying for you. Let's pray for one another. And let's keep each other accountable and encouraged along the way. Yes. Yeah. God bless you guys. God bless you.